Hello everyone, I just wanted to update you guys on a cool technique that you can use to enhance transients in your drum loops or any any type of uh, elements that you're finding trouble with with like just the standard algorithms that, that companies give um, in, in transient shapers. So this is a bit more of a manual technique, but we'll get to that in a moment. So this is how it sounds before and after. So the cool thing about this is that you can manually trigger any of the transients that you're having trouble with. Um, actually, that's the, the only way that you trigger them. You become the, uh, the detection algorithm at the end of the day. Um, but this enables you to not enhance certain elements like hats, for example, in this loop, where uh, I, I kind of just wanted the ghost snares to be enhanced, not really the hats. So this, this helps with that type of technique where... Uh, anything that that will be like transient enhanced can now just not, and it doesn't it doesn't like cost you to go in and manually automate uh, any plugins to turn on and off or anything like that. So yeah, uh, let's get into how to how to making this. So you can enable envelope one at a gain, then just set this onto the gain for like twenty percent. Uh, set the envelope to ADSR, note on so you're receiving MIDI. And then you'll just need to set in your DAW uh, to receive MIDI in Snappy. Um, you'll need to look at your manual for that. Or you can just ask me. Uh, I, can, I can probably show you how to do that. And then go to your macro section. Then make a macro uh, that is connected onto your envelope just on the star. This will change the amount of the, the um, modulation that envelope 1 is doing. So it's, it's more or less of this effect. And then you can go into your second macro and set that on your decay. Now here you can set it to 10 milliseconds and then 20% for your, your macro. I played around with this a little bit. Um, it'll, it'll be like 10 milliseconds as your minimum and then around 100 milliseconds as your maximum. Then you just want to set your release to be like 200-ish. Um, it, it just prevents this weird blocky shape that you get and this weird um, jumping in and out from the MIDI either being too short or uh, if it's yeah, just mainly too short because um, you'll, you'll just get this, this square shape as the, the decay like stops triggering and then it, it will just like jump off to the release, which will be zero. So it'll just like be a square. Yeah, not a good time. So then you can put this on legato mode, which as you can read in the bottom, will make sure that there are no clicks because it doesn't start from zero every time. It'll just go from where it was the previous time and enhance like the, the gain again. And then after this, uh, if you have Transient Shaper, you can use that as a clipper um, because the distortion itself inside of uh, like the distortion one isn't, isn't that good in my opinion as it doesn't like completely clip it off. Uh, not sure what that's about. Otherwise, you can just use M Saturator after, after using this effect or any other clipper that you like, like V-Clip, uh, G-Clip, <laughs> anyone forbid, and um, <laughs> anything like that. So yeah. That's pretty much this technique and hope you guys enjoy. Have a wonderful day.